so when you try to manifest something, of course, it spreads out on all dimensional levels for vast distances, and it affects everyone and everything around you. And this is how uh, the universe conspires to uh, bring about whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Mm -hmm. And so how does astral projection assist us with that? I'm sorry, I missed that. How does astral projection assist us with connecting to our higher self and in our manifesting? When you... Um, your higher self is far, far more receptive and proactive on the astral level. Now, this is, this is why when you do affirmations, which is a part of the manifestation process, using uh, verbal affirmations spoken aloud rather than silently, uh, a verbal affirmation is like a hundred times more powerful than a silent affirmation. Because what happens when you speak the words, you vibrate the throat center in the, in the base of your throat where your voice box is. That vibrates and activates your throat chakra, the energy center in your throat, which is tuned into the astral level, and it broadcasts your voice on the astral level. Now, <clears throat> experience with astral projection and lucid dreaming and dreaming, lucid dreaming and astral projection, two of them, um, <clears throat> have a consistent factors in them that demonstrate that there was something at work there which you, could, you can connect with your higher self and observe um, its uh, interactions with it in those levels. If you astral project, for example, or have a lucid dream and you come out of your body and it's dark or you have vision problems, you might find it is... Uh, dark or um, like out of focus, like you've got bad glasses on, you can't see anything. You might be squinting through one eye very badly out of focus. Now, if you make the command, uh, speaking verbally in the astral or the lucid dream, and you say, give me sight now, you make a command, or clarity now, or light now, give me light, you will find 99% of the time, it's very reliable, the light will suddenly appear around you. Your vision will suddenly clarify. All of a sudden, you can see clearly. And um, further to this, if you are in the astral and you've got your light and you know, your vision's okay, if you want to go somewhere, if you want to visit somebody, for example, if you're in Canada and Toronto, if you come out of your body and say, I'd like to visit Robert Bruce, make a command clearly say take me to Robert Bruce you will find a giant hand will take hold of you it's quite noticeable and a force will grip you and it will start moving you it will move you through the astral and if you keep your intention your focus upon me it will take you directly to me now if on the way on your journey if you uh, break your focus and you look at an interesting tree, <laughs> it will instantly drop you next to that tree. <laughs> and you can feel this in the background, this well-meaning, loving, understanding, intelligence. And it's, oh, you want to look at the tree? There you go. <laughs> and it'll put you down by the tree. And you look at the tree. Now, if you restate your command again, take me to Robert Bruce, the hand will grip you and say, oh, okay, off we go. <laughs> And you can do that a dozen times. It doesn't matter. If you break your focus of where you want to go, you'll be dropped there to look at the tree, to look at the building, to look at this interesting rock. And you restate your command. Oh, off you go again. Nothing's too much trouble. And this illustrates not only the actions of the higher self, direct actions in astral projection and lucid dreams, showing how active it is on those levels, which applies to how the affirmations work verbally. But it also gives you uh, some idea of how the law of attraction and manifestation works. Because the same principles apply here in the physical. If you are trying to mass manifest something, you got, let's say you're trying to manifest a new car, and you've got pictures of it on the wall, and you keep looking at it, and you're imagining you're driving it, and you're making verbal affirmations that you already have this car now present tense active and if you keep your 
your focus continually on that, you'll find that you will attract that and that will move into your life as rapidly as it can. Now, if you break your focus and your attention and it goes off onto this and goes off onto that, which is what normally happens to people, the, you'll find, uh, of course, it takes a long time to get to you. It might take several months or a couple of years to get to you, depending on what you're trying to manifest. I mean, if you're trying to manifest a new, new lawnmower, that may come to you in a couple of weeks or earlier, but something a bit bigger might take longer. Um, and a lot, of the, a lot of the reasons why uh, things take a long time for most people to manifest is because they keep breaking their focus. Mm -hmm. If you kept your focus continually on what you're manifesting, <coughs> it would uh, come into your life a lot faster. So if you put, if you put all this together, uh, you start to get a picture of what is happening in your life, how your higher self source works through you the intimate connection you have, that it is there with you all the time. It is very, very active, pro proactive on the astral level and in the lucid dreaming levels. It is there, and it is just as active in your physical life if you allow this, if you make space for this. Now, your beliefs come into play here because you, um, you start affirming that you have a new lawnmower, for example. And you say to yourself, I have a beautiful blue lawnmower. You'll feel this tension in your stomach and chest instantly that says, no, you don't. And you say, I have a beautiful blue lawnmower. I cut my lawn with it. It says, no, you don't. You don't really believe that. Because your beliefs get in the way. We are um, like brainwashed in the physical dimension that we believe Everything is solid and physical, and certain things have to be done in certain ways. Like, if you take a, um, a physical device that is broken, an example, about a year or so ago, um, the fuel gauge in my car broke. It had been broken for a couple of years. <laughs> I hit a big bump, and it's an off-road vehicle, and it died. I had it checked out by the uh, auto electrician, and yeah, it's completely dead. I need to replace it. And I never got around to doing it. And uh, about a year ago, uh, I came home one night and uh, turned the engine off and I looked at the fuel gauge, which wasn't working. And I, I had this urge, this intuitive urge to me, and I, I applied verbal affirmations and intensive visualization on it, saying my fuel gauge works perfectly. And I was visualizing the connection to the engine into the fuel tank. And I say my fuel, my fuel gauge, my sender unit is perfect the connections between my fuel gauge and my sender unit in the tank are perfect. And I kept that up intensively for about 90 seconds. And then I turned the car off, got out, and went in the house. I came out the next day and started my car up, and my fuel gauge worked perfectly. <laughs> it was fixed. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, whoa. I could feel this big shift in my belief systems occurring because I have personal experience with doing it. Now, ab you absolutely need personal experience in order to do this, and uh, because this is where the power of it comes from, because personal experience is the only thing which will shift that disbelief inside of us that stops it from working. So what we do is we try and use all of our power and techniques and that of doing affirmations and visualizations. And we start manifesting small things. You start manifesting a cup of coffee or a meal or dinner invitation, something small. And when this happens and, you know, you get a couple of cups of coffee and a couple of dinner invitations, you start to feel, hmm, that worked. It kind of worked a little bit, you know. Cause, uh, it's a coincidence as well. That might just have happened anyway. But if you keep doing it, you keep manifesting small things, you start to gain personal experience with manifestation and over a period of time your belief systems shift so that when you say to yourself I have a beautiful blue lawnmower it works beautifully uh, instead of getting no you don't you get <laughs> uh, maybe you do it starts that pressure of disbelief starts to ease off and uh, and then we start to manifest more powerfully